Well, good day, Tubes. Bruce here. Well, um, I've got a new project now, and uh, it's for a pal of mine. He has uh, a little generator that he puts in his shed out on his uh, acreage uh, that he uses for power, of course. And uh, he wanted me to build him an exhaust that uh, would go from the output of the generator through the side wall of the shed. I have not seen the shed, so I'm kind of going on a few assumptions here. But uh, I'll just take you over to the, the little uh, generator and I'll show you what I've come up with to uh, have something that will handle the heat and well as the vibration. So come with me. Okay. So this, this is what was there. This little flange. It might have been like that. Came off. This is going to be replaced with something else. This is the flame arrestor. This is kind of interesting. There we go. So that's kind of neat, eh? I took a propane torch and cleaned all of the carbon off of here as best I could and, and an air. Propane torch and some air. I put that back in. So this was on there like that. And I got the screws off, barely, because they've been heat cycled so many times. So with this thicker piece of steel, I'm going to cut a new flange that's thicker that I can weld to. And then, I'm going to cut this adapter off at about here. And it's going to weld onto that new flange. Kind of like that, I guess but shorter. And then the uh, flexible tubing is going to fit onto here either with a muffler clamp or something like that. Like that. And then you guessed it. It's going to have a similar deal happening down over here. And then this will thread off like that. So that's my uh, my my interpretation of of a flexible pipe output for a generator. I got this at a muffler shop. It's one inch flexible pipe, and it's you know so it'll handle the heat and hopefully the vibration. So next time we come back, we'll be on the bench cutting our flange for here. Hey guys, so now I'm just going to clean up this piece of steel. This was a bracket that I used to make my make my friend Gary bolt tarp brackets with and this was one of the prototypes. So you, you just use what you use. Okay, we've cleaned this piece of steel up on both sides. There and there. Trace out the pattern on the steel. I don't know whether to use a felt pen or a scribe. Road Kings are really good at this kind of stuff. So there we've got something to start with. And I'm going to drill a hole. Just bigger than two centimeters, which is what this hole is on the uh, on the original flange. Okay, guys, this is called a step drill, and the top is exactly what I need for size. And I finally got it. So it's just a little bit bigger than the hole in the in the flange. So now I'm going to trace out the flange. Here we go. Okay, 
that should work. What do you think? So now I'm going to cut this out with a with an angle grinder and drill these two other holes. We'll be away. So I just want to see what size those holes are. Okay, tubes, let's try this again. I'm thinking it's going to work. Okay, there's my rough cut. And I'm just going to refine it more and more and more now. I should use this stationary grinder now. I'm going to try that. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. There's my piece. It's not going to win any awards. But it's close. Best part about it is that it does match the size. Alright guys. Now we're gonna cut our flexible tube input, whatever you want to call it. Okay guys, so that is gonna weld onto that like that. Okay, tubes, that is the tubing uh, adapter, and this is the little flange I, I welded up. In fact, I'll just take it off for you and show you. I think it's going to work just great. So I welded it, and then I, I ground around the edge. I'm not a machinist. <laughs> it's the best I could do. The jerk of all trades, they say. But I was using a flux core welder. And one of these days, when I grow up, I'm going to get a, a MIG. There. And now we are just going to work on this. Okay, tubes, the finished product. I thought of using a one inch muffler clamp on here, but he wants to be able to move this back and forth to his house to his acreage. So we're, I just uh, drill a hole in the tubing and one in the adapter. If he doesn't want to, he can turn it around like that. But uh, this will work just great. And uh, this will just keep it from falling out. It's in an old shed, he said it doesn't have to be airtight. Like that. Voila! 
So I'll give them this. And uh, if he wants to clamp it on there permanently, he can. And there's the finished product. I have a longer pipe if he needs it. Alright guys, here's a real world test. We're going to uh, just hook up this tube to the output of the generator. It's going out the garage door. You can imagine the garage door being closed almost. We hit the on button, we do the choke, and we give her a pull. Thanks for watching guys, that was a fun project.